What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And today we're gonna do something a little bit interesting. Instead of going over some tech recommendations that I have, we're gonna go over tech that I personally bought because of other tech YouTubers. Now, I actually got this idea from someone who tagged me over on Instagram in a video that they made on YouTube. I think her channel name is Vicky Glam. I'll have her link down below in the description. Basically, she had me in her video because she bought some iPhone accessories that I mentioned. So I figured it'd be cool to talk about some of the tech that I've picked up because of the influence of other YouTubers. Now, let's get started with this guy on my wrist right here. This is actually a Bluetooth G-Shock watch. I saw this on Danny Wingett's channel. Now, this is a really cool, I guess you can call it a smartwatch because it has a ton of cool features that I never really expected to see in a G-Shock watch. One, it is Bluetooth, so I can connect it to my iPhone. So it'll get my time and GPS location and synchronize my watch so that I always have the correct time without me doing anything to it. And not only that, it has a smart feature where it connects to the phone and I can hit the find button and it'll make an alarm go off on my phone in case I misplaced my phone or something. A feature that I actually cannot live without when it comes to a smartwatch. So it is awesome to have it here in a regular standard looking watch. Now there are other cool things about this watch that I've covered in the past. I'll have a link to that video down below in the description. Now this watch is not cheap and I had a hard time shelling out the money for it myself. So I had it on my Christmas list and my awesome sister-in-law bought it for me as a Christmas gift. She saved up her pennies and uh, got me this. Love you, Boulay. But something else that I picked up a long, long time ago and it's really nostalgic is this guy right here. This is the Logitech MX Performance Mouse. Now, I picked this up because of my good friend, Austin Evans. Uh, this is before we were even that tight. Uh, I was watching tech YouTube videos. I wanted a good mouse. I saw him talking and he was raving about this mouse as a lot of tech YouTubers were back in the day. I figured, you know what? I'll pick this up. And that pretty much started my obsession of finding really good mice to use. Austin put me on to the good world of having an ergonomic mouse. And this thing, this thing changed the game, man, because it felt really, really good in the hand. You had the extra buttons on the side. You had the little zoom button. You had the nice scroll wheel that could just move. Now you can see how old this mouse is, right? It's a dated mouse. This is actually Jay's mouse. I have mine somewhere. It looks exactly like this. It looks just as beat up. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere from moving into my new house. It's in the garage somewhere, but it looks exactly like this. So Jay, I feel right at home with this, man. <laughs> but shout out to Austin for pretty much changing the game and how I use my mice. But speaking of mice, another one that I actually picked up, I got from a recommendation from Random Frank P. So this is the Logitech G502 mouse. Now this is also a very nice ergonomic mouse. Feels good in the hand, great to game with. I actually really, really enjoy this mouse and I ended up buying the new one, which is wireless. But man, if you wanna, if you want a good mouse that isn't super expensive, such great options in the MX series as well as like the G series from Logitech. And speaking of a gaming mouse, we gotta talk about this guy right here. This is a gaming laptop that I picked up from guess who, you know. Mr. Dave 2D. Uh, when I was on the hunt for a good gaming laptop, I wanted something that was gonna be like, you know, sleek, thin, easy to take around, wouldn't scream gaming laptop. And his review on this made me wanna get it so bad. So this is the MSI GS65 Stealth. This is the thin one, so it looks great. And it has like the, these nice finishes, RGB keyboard, all that good stuff. And of course, it being a few years later, I got the most updated version. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. And that is this guy over here. This is the MSI GS75 Stealth. It has dedicated graphics, they both do, but this one has the RTX 2080 inside of it. So when I want a game on this, it's great to take this thing around. Great graphics card, 144 hertz refresh rate on the screen. It's just a really, really solid buy. And so, you know, Dave, he made me do it made me pick them up. So yeah, gaming laptops of choice are definitely these guys over here. And there's actually something else over here that I gotta show you guys that I also picked up from Random Frank P. Right here we have the Colo Light. Now, it might seem familiar. Kinda looks like the Nano Leafs uh, little hexagon. Do they have hexagons? No, they got a triangle and a square. I think they're doing hexagons next. But either way, 
This looks like one of the Nano Leaf lights, but it's much smaller and honestly a lot more affordable. So you can pretty much take these hexagons and make different shapes with them so you can get a design that you really like. Only thing I'm not super crazy about with this light setup is that it uses this little base, which doesn't give much support. It has like enough on one side, but nothing on the other. It's not that great, uh, but this is actually a really, really cool light because you can go in and use the app, change up the colors, change up the designs. So you guys can see here, you can go through a bunch of different options and they all have like these cool little effects. There are like individual LED lights inside of here. So you can have multiple colors within one hexagon, which is just awesome. I really like it. You can even mount it on the wall if you'd like. But yeah, this is something that I got from Frank. It's just an awesome piece to have if you wanna have like a cool pattern somewhere using lights. But something else that I picked up, and this is from my boy Kevin Kenson. This is the Power A GameCube Bluetooth controller for the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you love Super Smash Brothers, you know you gotta have a GameCube controller to play with it. And a lot of the options we've seen have either been wired or wired with a Bluetooth adapter. And this one gets rid of all of the wires, straight up Bluetooth, no extra bulk, feels like a normal GameCube controller and it just works really, really well with the Switch. So if I wanna go in and do a Smash battle, I'll have all the controls that I'm used to with the GameCube controller. Let me pick my boy Ike real quick. Oh, and you hear those clicks? That's, those clicks are like, that's what you want. And honestly, this is everything that you want as a Smash player, a GameCube controller with no wires. I mean, there's no, there's no losing here. And not to mention, it has all of the buttons that you would have like on a standard Switch or Pro Controller. So if you wanna go ahead and play other games, you can do that with no problem. Everything feels pretty much the same in, in terms of like the buttons you have access to. But now, we gotta talk about some of the bigger investments that I've made thanks to other YouTubers. And you know who I'm gonna blame here. John from TLD. Let me show you guys this closet that John has influenced. This right here is the equipment closet where we have all of our camera gear, well, most of our camera gear, tripods, cameras, lenses, everything that you need to make a video, we store right in here. And so much of it is because of John. So let's just take a quick look at some of the cameras that we have here and this guy right here, let's go with this. This is my reliable FS7. This is my baby. We've been through so much together. Uh, this is actually the, four, the first professional grade camera that I purchased ever, and I still use it today. So it was a really, really good investment. John kind of pushed me in that direction, said we need to go 4K, man. This was years and years and years ago. Ari thought I was crazy for buying this, but look at me now, baby. We are, <laughs> John doesn't even use the FS7 anymore, but I love it, I can't let go of it. Something else John made me buy that he doesn't use anymore is uh, this guy, the Canon C200. I don't know why I picked this up, honestly. Me and Jay, we like, oh, we're gonna use it. And then we don't use it. Anybody wanna buy one? If you wanna buy a C200, hit me up. We got lots of camera gain here you know, that I, I blame John for a lot of it. But this guy right here, we have the Red Epic W. This one, I gotta blame on my boy Marquez. Marquez has been talking about Red for years and years, finally fell for it, picked up the Epic W. Uh, and you know, I've been using this on and off, not so much because of how big the files are, uh, but John got me onto the Monstro. Now this guy, with this, I've completely fallen in love with the red, even with the big file sizes because the images just look so amazing from it. And when it comes to lenses, forget about it. These Otis lenses have been John, uh, just so many different things. I'll take credit for picking up my own Sigma lens. I, I like the Sigma series, I picked that up myself. But like I said, so much of this stuff, even the camera we're shooting on. This is the Sony a7 III. John, of course, introduced me to how awesome that quality is, as well as the Ronin that the S a7 III is sitting on right now that we're using. Yeah, you see how smooth that is? Yeah, John, thank you, my man. This guy right here, I got this years and years ago when I first, not when I first started out, but 
a while back. This is the iFooted Shark Slider. Now you guys might've seen Marquez talk about this in one of his videos. It's got the counterweight balance over here, carbon fiber uh, tracks. It's just an awesome, awesome slider. Uh, these lights right here, these NAND lights. Now this is something I think I originally saw in Dave 2D's video, where it's like a light that you can turn on it's nice and bright. Something that's actually pretty cool about these is the fact that you can change the color. So if I wanted to go ahead and make it blue, I can change the brightness. But yes, the equipment closet, I gotta blame my boy John and Marquez for a lot of the gear that's in here. But it's all been worth it. And you know what? Something else that we picked up is this little guy. This I got from DSLR Video Shooter. So I know we're getting real heavy into the camera talk, guys, but you know, this is what I watch other YouTubers for primarily. And this thing is really cool because it's like one of those slap bracelets where you just kind of throw it on, but it has like these LED lights on it or RGB lights that you can turn on. You can actually change the color. Now this is a great prop, uh, really good for like thumbnails. Like I can take this thing right here, right? Put it down, throw the MX Master above it and then take a look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Like it has like a nice little glow. It's really, really cool for video work and it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's like 40 bucks, which once you start using it, you'll see how worthwhile it is. And you know who else I want to give a shout out to? Majestex. I watched a lot of his videos before I put my home theater together to find out which brand of speakers I wanted, the kind of screen I wanted to go for. So I ended up going with Klipsch. I believe that's the same brand that he has. So I used a lot of his videos to kind of learn how I wanted to set up the home theater. He was a huge resource. So I got my idea for the home theater in terms of what brands I wanted to go with thanks to him. So I'll have him linked down below as well as all of the other YouTubers in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But that wraps it up guys. I'll also have Vicky Glam for giving me the idea linked down below in the description. So check her out. But if you enjoyed it, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then it's your average consumer. Peace.